When something groundbreaking and innovative is developed, it's natural for others to take notice, with some even offering collaboration. This was precisely the scenario when SpaceX continually grabbed headlines with launches of Starship. The launch was a major event, mainly because many people had been skeptical about the project's chances of success. This skepticism wasn't because they doubted Musk and his team's capability. It was due to the sheer scale and ambition of the project. Starship is the biggest and most powerful rocket ever made, which made it stand out from anything that came before it. However, SpaceX proved skeptics wrong by successfully launching Starship and demonstrating its potential to change space exploration. This success caught the attention of various groups, including the U.S. military, which has made a specific offer regarding Starship. In this video, we'll cover this strange military's offer to SpaceX. The United States Department of Defense has expressed significant interest in using SpaceX's Starship for governmental purposes, particularly focusing on leveraging Starship's capabilities for quick and efficient cargo delivery, and potentially for deploying troops anywhere in the world in a short time frame. This could transform military logistics and response times, offering strategic advantages in terms of national security and operational efficiency. The military envisions Starship for a variety of missions, including sensitive and potentially dangerous ones. The estimated reduction in mass to orbit costs from $2,000 a kilogram to as low as $20 per kilogram. It's remarkable to see a company transition from a small startup to becoming the leading space company within two decades, to the point where even the government seeks to participate in its projects. When Musk first came up with the idea of Starship, many thought he was just trying to gain attention. Nobody believed a private company with only a decade of launch experience would develop and launch the world's largest rocket ever. Despite skepticism, SpaceX began developing the Starship, initially testing with a smaller prototype named Starhopper in early 2019. The first full-system test flight took place on April 20th last year. During the first flight, the launch faced significant issues, including three engines failing to start or aborting before liftoff, and several others failing during the flight. This led to the vehicle not attempting stage separation, eventually tumbling and exploding nearly four minutes into the flight. The aftermath of this test resulted in the Federal Aviation Administration grounding the launch program pending a mishap investigation which SpaceX completed by submitting corrective actions to the FAA before being allowed to conduct another launch. During the second flight test of the Starship, the spacecraft faced issues related to the stage separation process. The separation took longer than planned, and this had a significant impact on the mission's outcome, as it led to the booster being exposed to the intense heat generated by Starship's engines for a prolonged period. The exposure to the heat from the Starship's engines caused damage to the booster, ultimately resulting in its explosion. SpaceX responded by making several upgrades to the engine system, including improving the igniter and introducing an electric system for thrust vector control, replacing the hydraulic system. They also made adjustments to reduce fuel sloshing, and these upgrades paid off in the recent third flight. However, despite these improvements, the Raptor engines encountered issues during the landing attempt of Booster 10, with a delayed engine reactivation and only three engines restarting, leading to a high-speed landing and subsequent explosion of the booster. As you can see, SpaceX has faced challenges in all three of its Starship flights, dealing with both minor and major issues. With limited opportunities left to demonstrate a fully successful launch, the stakes are high for the company. SpaceX is preparing for the fourth launch of its Starship vehicle, targeting an early May timeframe. The company is currently analyzing the outcomes from the third launch and expects to be ready for another attempt soon. During the last mission, both the Super Heavy Booster and Starship's upper stage executed their ascent phase correctly, following the planned suborbital trajectory. The mission included successful operations, such as opening Starship's payload door in space and performing a propellant transfer demo, which involved moving liquid oxygen between tanks within the vehicle. However, the mission faced issues, including the failure to relight Starship's Raptor engines in space, attributed to a role in the vehicle. 
During its re-entry, the vehicle disintegrated at about 65 kilometers altitude, and the super heavy booster exploded during its descent into the Gulf of Mexico due to a malfunction in a planned landing burn. Musk has indicated a goal of six more flights within the year, but this goal is extremely ambitious, especially considering the technical and logistical requirements involved. To put this into perspective, Starship stands at about 120 meters tall when combined with its Super Heavy booster, making it the largest rocket ever designed. It's intended to have a lift capacity of more than 100 metric tons to low Earth orbit, with a thrust force of around 72 meganewtons, which is more than any other rocket currently in operation. While SpaceX's ambitious timeline for the Starship program shows the company's capability, they require a launch license from the Federal Aviation Administration for each flight. The FAA is currently investigating the third orbital flight of the Starship, and the outcome of the FAA's investigation is critical for determining when Flight 4 can proceed. SpaceX's history with the FAA shows an improvement in the company's ability to quickly address the FAA's concerns. For example, the time to address findings from the investigation following the first flight was nearly five months, but this was reduced to just over three months for the second flight. The upcoming fourth flight preparation is well underway with the Starship Prototype S-29 and its Booster B-11 in the final stages of testing. These tests include cryogenic proofs, static fires, and wet dress rehearsals, essential for ensuring the vehicle's readiness for flight. The vehicle's launch system, especially the quick disconnect mechanisms, and the heat shield system are also being closely examined. The president of SpaceX addressed rumors about the next Starship flight, specifically stating that it would not involve deploying Starlink satellites. Additionally, she highlighted that the company is aiming for an early May timeline for this launch. What makes the upcoming fourth flight of Starship particularly interesting is the planned use of Raptor 3 engines. The Raptor 3 achieves 350 bar of chamber pressure and 269 tons of thrust, marking an increase of 17% more thrust compared to the Raptor 2 engines. The Raptor 3 engines are designed not only to provide more thrust, but also to reduce the weight of the engines and, by extension, the entire rocket. This is achieved by removing unneeded parts and possibly reducing the rocket's weight by another 200 kilograms per engine, which, for the 40 engines used across the Starship and Super Heavy booster, translates into a significant reduction in total vehicle mass. Critics have raised questions about SpaceX's significant investment in developing its own engines, such as the Raptor series, for the Starship program. They argue that buying ready-made engines from other companies might be a more cost-effective and faster approach. Most people might assume the most expensive part of a rocket is its massive structure or the sophisticated technology that goes into control systems. However, the engines are actually the most costly component. This is because rocket engines require precise engineering and high-quality materials to withstand extreme temperatures and pressures. So SpaceX has managed to save potentially billions of dollars by developing and producing its own engines. Moreover, SpaceX's decision to develop the Raptor engines is strategic. The Raptor engines use liquid methane and liquid oxygen as fuel, a choice that aligns with SpaceX's long-term vision for Mars exploration. Methane can potentially be synthesized on Mars, providing a sustainable fuel source for return missions to Earth. This capability is essential for SpaceX's goal of Mars colonization, as it would allow Starship vehicles to refuel using resources harvested from the Martian environment. And that's all for today's update. If you enjoyed watching and found it useful, please make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the like button. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.